Hello, my name is Derek Franklin, and I'm an applications engineer here at GoEngineer. In this video, I want to introduce you to a tool that's new in SOLIDWORKS 2016, and that tool is known as the Upgrade Assistant. If you're planning to migrate to a new version of SOLIDWORKS, you can use the Upgrade Assistant to test that your parts, assemblies, and drawings will migrate successfully into the newer version. This tool is located in the SOLIDWORKS Task Scheduler, and so in this, again, in this video, I just want to show you how we can utilize that to see how it works. So let's go down to our Start menu, because this is where we'll find it. So we'll go to Start, All Programs, SOLIDWORKS 2016, and SOLIDWORKS Tools, and then we'll click on SOLIDWORKS Task Scheduler 2016. Up in the top left, you will see the Upgrade Assistant option. So I'm just going to click on that. So I can give it some properties here. We can give it a name. I'm just going to call this Upgrade Assistant Test here. And it's going to ask me to select the earlier version of SOLIDWORKS that I want to use in my comparison. So this is a file that I'm actually that I actually created in SOLIDWORKS 2014 Service Pack 5. Um, and so I'm going to use that um, to, to see how it will migrate into SOLIDWORKS 2016. Now the thing to note here is that whatever older version of the file that you're using, uh, you do need to have that version on the machine where you're running this uh, comparison as uh, this tool will open up both versions in the background when it's running this test. The other caveat is that this tool will only work with files created by SOLIDWORKS, tw SOLIDWORKS 2013 and later. Okay. You will notice that um, here we can add file individual files or group of files or we can also do a uh, folder so you'll see the add file and add folder uh, option here I'm just gonna do an add file again I'm just gonna do a simple file here for the sake of the video and for the sake of time I'm just gonna select my part file and say open I can come down and specify if I want to run this once or maybe daily or weekly whatever um, I need to do here we'll just do once and then I can specify a start time I'll just set this for a couple of minutes ahead um, just to give ourselves a little bit of time. And then in the options here, I can specify where I want to output that zipped up folder. Now this zipped up folder is going to contain the file as well as the report. And I have a folder on my desktop that I'll just use to save this out to. So we'll say OK and go ahead and say finish. So as I explained a little bit earlier, what happens is SOLIDWORKS will open up in the background and it's running a series of tests. So again, it's going to compare the file in uh, the old version and the newer version just to see if there's been any major changes or if there are any issues with the file going into the new version. Once this part is done again it's going to generate that comparison report for us. If there are no critical errors found then you can be confident that your data will migrate successfully to the newer version. So you'll see once it's done uh, the completed subtasks here and if I double click on that it's going to ask me do I want to create that zip archive folder and again that zipped up archive contains the file as well as the report itself with some additional things. So we'll go ahead and say yes. You'll see it opens it up. Um, the location you can see where that zip folder is but the actual report itself will open up in a web browser. So let me bring that over and show you. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it just gives you some preliminary information, the task title, the type. It also shows you the baseline version. So in my case, the SOLIDWORKS 2014 SP5. Um, and then the current SOLIDWORKS version, the newer version that it's using, um, as well as some, some additional information. There at the bottom is where we get the detailed information. So the results can show up in one of three colors. Red means that there were errors that were reported, so we can look at those. Blue tells me that there were differences reported between the two versions, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there were errors. And green tells me that it was completed successfully without any issues or without any differences. So we love the color green, obviously. Uh, so you can see here in this result for the one file here, it shows up green, so it tells me that my uh, report or tells me that my task did run successfully and that there will be no issues with this file going into 2016. Um, if I expand the file name column here I can see um, some more information about the uh, test on this file uh, from there. 
So there you have it. Again, just a tool that we can utilize to make sure that our files will migrate successfully into uh, a newer version of the software. Again, the thing to remember is that you do need to have both versions that you're using to compare installed on the machine where you're running a task. And also, the upgrade assistance works with files created by SOLIDWORKS 2013 and later. So any file created before 2013 will not work in this tool. So there you have it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.